Falcon Inside CrowdStrike's EDR solution provides detailed event visibility as well as complete response capabilities. Those options are available directly from the host view or within a specific detection. Here we see the host view where we can drill down to see system details. We have options to network contain the host or connect to host. Network containment prevents lateral movement and interrupts network access, including any communications that might be present on a compromised system. With real-time response, we have the ability to remotely connect to a host for remediation. There is a list of available commands that enable important tasks like killing processes, editing the registry, and getting copies of files for forensic study. The ability to put and get files from a remote system gives this tool unlimited potential. There is also a help option that provides guidance on using the available commands. In addition to running commands, we also have the ability to leverage PowerShell scripts and executables. Those can be local to the system or deployed via real-time response. In this example, we will run an executable that already exists on the remote system to create a local backup of the system files. Being able to run any executable, command, or PowerShell script remotely has many applications, including administrative tasks, software management, incident response, and forensics collection, as we will see in the next example. Again, we will connect to the host, but this time we will use a custom PowerShell script to collect files via real-time response. Instead of being on the local system, this script is staged, making it quick and easy to execute. This option gives us easy access to those scripts and executables that might be commonly used during remediations, deployments, and other system management tasks. In this case, we will also add a custom parameter, a ticket number. This specific script then collects the important files like the Windows event log and zips them into a file identified by the ticket number before uploading that file to forensic storage for further analysis. The same response functionalities are present from the detections view, making them readily available when analysts observe suspicious activity. In this event, we see that recon.exe was blocked and the attacker went on to do some manual reconnaissance. In addition to who am I and ipconfig, we see a registry command was run. CrowdStrike provides the detailed command, which reveals that a persistence key was put in place. We will use that information to remediate the system. Also, the two net commands were used to first create a new user and then to elevate privileges for that new account. Now that we understand everything that has happened, we can take action and network contain the system. That prevents any lateral movement or communications from the host while we remediate. Next, we will connect to the system via real-time response. Here we will run a script to delete the persistence registry key and the newly created user account. With that, we have undone all of the changes made by the attacker. CrowdStrike enables organizations to be effective in responding to incidents while minimizing downtime and maximizing productivity. Because real-time response is such a flexible and powerful tool, it is important to have granular control over user access. In the UI, we can see the roles available for Falcon users and define the precise level of access required for each user's job function. Specifically for real-time response, there are three defined roles. For each one, there is a reminder of exactly what commands are accessible from administrators to active responders and read-only analysts. With Falcon real-time response, you have complete remediation capabilities at your fingertips. While all of these examples were shown in the Falcon UI, response actions are also available through CrowdStrike's extensive APIs for both customer and partner integrations. Thank <laughs> you.